Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. Today we're talking boxy charm, baby. As noted in the title, we will be unboxing our March base box as well as doing a makeup tutorial with some of the products in this box. If you guys are interested in seeing what products I got for the month of March as well as see what makeup look I create today, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of the family yet, then please hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We post weekly videos every Thursday on beauty education, beauty updates, skincare, makeup, hair care. We do all of it over here on this channel. So if you guys are interested in beauty and any aspect of beauty, then make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to show your support, smash that like button, and also share this video with friends and family so they can enjoy some BoxyCharm too. And comment down below and let me know which of these products were your favorite. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the nice Disclaimers first, as always, this video is not sponsored. It is not being paid. I have a BoxyCharm subscription that I currently pay for for the base box. If you guys are interested though, you can check out my referral link, which will be down in the description box below. With this referral link, if you guys click on it and sign up with BoxyCharm, no matter what plan you get, you earn 500 charms and I earn 500 charms to use in the BoxyCharm store. So it's a win-win. Get that referral link and sign up with BoxyCharm because guys, it's worth it, I'm telling you. Reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me and you are you and again as always as I say in every video even if we have the same skin type the same hair concerns the same body concerns etc etc what products work for me still may not work for you always keep that in mind guys so now let's get into our lovely March box real quick before we get started this is the BoxyCharm base box, as I mentioned earlier. You can get this for $27.99. With tax, it'll be $30. You get five full-size products a month, and you get up to one choice a month. There are also two other options available. You can get the premium, which comes with six products, I believe. And then you have the Lux, which is a seasonal box that comes quarterly. And in that box, you get eight products. The higher the box you go, the more choices you have to select for the month. Again, I only have the base box, so let's get into it. Like, I think BoxyCharm is a great value. Again, you're spending $30 on products that are valued over $125 combined in the whole box. Nothing really gets better than that. And you get to try so many great brands, so many great products every month. All right, guys, so let's get into this March box, baby. So our box is a little bigger than normal, and that is actually because we didn't get the official March box. So the box we got was actually a fan favorites box, and because it was a fan favorites box, we actually got six products instead of five. Now, basically what happened that I got the fan favorites box is I believe I paid late in March, so by the time I paid for it, all the regular boxes were out. So I was kind of sad because I was really eyeballing the Ofra Cosmetics blush palette. So I was like, so sad. But seeing what came in this box, guys, now I see why it's a fan favorites box. Let's get into these products. Again, this is our March box. This is how we're looking, baby. So of course, we have our little pamphlet. And because this was the fan favorites box, the hashtag is different for this month. So it is Boxy Fresh Start. Uh, the pamphlet basically just tells you how much each of the products are and a little bit more about them as well as which ones you got. One more thing I do want to say, I know it's April, guys. Y'all know I've been delayed and back up if you follow me on Instagram. So just bear with me. Next week, I believe we're doing our We Essentials haul. So I'm super excited to share that finally with you guys. And then... We should have our April Boxy Charm. Follow me on Instagram, guys. You can stay updated with me there at Midnight Moon Makeup. So the first product I'm going to be pulling out the box is these really cute makeup brushes. Oh my gosh, guys. These are so adorable. So these are the, if I'm saying it correctly, Glamir Pink Luxe Glitter Eye Brush Collection. These are glittery, enchanting, and fun. This set features four essential eye brushes. Ultra soft duo synthetic bristles make blending easy and flawless. These retail for $29.95. And these are actually a new launch to BoxyCharm. 
So of course, here's our cute little pink packaging, very glittery. It's just a basic plastic casing with a button. These are the brushes and guys, tell me they aren't the cutest thing. So these are the eye brushes, but then watch this. Isn't that so cute? I've never seen brushes like this. I absolutely am obsessed, guys. That is too cute. We're gonna get into the next product because we're gonna test these brushes out on the next product. So the next product up we have is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette, if I'm saying that right. And guys, I looked in this already. You know I had to. This is the most perfect palette, like, Y'all just gotta see it. Give me a second. So this palette retails for $38.99. And it says the Nostalgia palette consists of 15 colors meant to inspire fun and creativity, as well as make you feel nostalgic about some awesome past fun times. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. This is what the front of the packaging looks like. I love it. It's very cute. I love the flowers. Y'all know I'm a flower girl. I'm a very nature person, if you guys are new to my channel. So I love anything with beaches, flowers, that's all that good stuff. And let's open this baby up. Guys, I absolutely love, love, love the color story of this palette. So pretty and pigmented. It's a very pretty palette. So this is how it's showing up on my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my back of the hand. They do feel a little chalky on hand, but I've dealt with palettes like that before that went on perfectly smooth and flawless on the eye. So we're definitely going to just check that out and test it out on the eye before we say anything about chalkiness. So here's your swatches, guys. As you can see on my fingertips, too, they're a lot more pigmented than in the swatch alone. Again, we're going to test buildability, chalkiness, all that good stuff in a second as we're applying and doing this fun little look. For my base, I'm gonna go ahead and use the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845 Warm Beige. If you guys are interested in any of the products I used for this look, including base makeup, it will be mentioned down in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera, and then when we come back, we'll talk about our palette and our brushes. All right, guys, so we've set our base. Let's get playing with makeup. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Flip Flops. I'm going to take the flat kind of fluffy brush and I'm going to use this for my transition. The next shade we're using is Picnic, which is this pink right here. And we're going to use that right before we use the shade Flip Flops right here. So that way we can get a nice ombre effect. Next shade we're taking is Raspberry right here. And we're going to use that to start darkening the outer crease, the outer corner of the eye right here. Kind of like a smoky winged liner, but we're going to blend it out afterwards. So just trust the process. Next, I'm going to go in with this dome-shaped round fluffy brush. And we're going to use that to start Blending out the pink and the purples at the top. Next, I'm taking this angled brush from the Glam Mirror set again. And we're going to be using this to cut our crease a little bit. I'm going to go back into my flat fluffy brush. We're going to go back into that shade raspberry and just detail the line out a little bit more, the smokiness of it, since we just fixed up the crease. Now for the cut crease area, the part that we just based down again, we're going to go ahead and use some orange color. We're going to go ahead and go into the shades Popsicle and Vacation. We're going to take Popsicle first, which is more of a orangey yellow shade, and we're going to use that 
We're going to pack it on right on the inner center of our eye, right up to the middle of the eye. Then we're going to pack on vacation on the rest of the eye and blend everything out. This is how we're looking. Now we're just going to blend it a little bit. This is how it's turning out. Next shade we're going to get into is water slide. And we're going to use that on our inner corner of the eye to make everything pop, to make it a little more brighter and open. Now I'm taking the lash brush from the Glamour set. I forgot exactly what type of brush this is, but I'm going to use it for the inner corner of my eye. We're going to go into this shade, which is fun. And we're going to use that on the inner corner of our eye with our small little brush. We're pretty much just pressing over the water slide shade, which is that yellow, to make it pop out a little bit more, to give a little bit more kind of sunset vibes. Last two colors we're taking for this look are Raspberry and Picnic. We're going to use that for our under eye. We're going to go ahead and blend that out. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick, if you guys can see that, there is a little bit of fallout. It's not too bad. Um, also, the pigments are not chalky at all. They're really pigmented, really pretty, and really bright. Like, just look at them, guys. Um, the lighting, again, might not be doing so much justice for these colors, but they are amazing. So now I'm pretty much done with the palette. Absolutely love, love this palette. I will so be using it in so many more looks stay tuned on instagram guys before we get into our final thoughts of the palette and the brushes i do just want to finish my eye makeup so we can get into the next few products i'm gonna really quickly set my face with this setting spray this is the almasca hydra setting spray i did get this in a boxy charm i believe it was last month or the month before that but i absolutely love this spray i have combo to oily skin and it doesn't make my skin feel more greasy than it should be um, it doesn't make it feel oily at all, and it gives a really nice finish. I'm going to go ahead and let that set. I will be right back. So this is how we're looking. Makeup is set. I'm going to go ahead and play with some liners off camera just to add a little bit of pop of color. I'm using the Dollar Lash Club. Aqua FX UV Cake Liners. These are in the shades Neon Purple, Amethyst, and Neon Golden Yellow Sunset. I'm just going to play around with it. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, so I'll be right back. I'm going to do these off camera. I am also going to set my under eyes and fix any of the fallout, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is how the look is coming together. I did add lashes. I used the Dollar Lash Club lashes in Robin. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Dollar Lash Club, my affiliate link is below. You will get a discount off your purchase. And I earn a small commission with no additional cost to you to help support my channels. So thank you if you do use those codes and affiliate links. Also, Really quickly, just line my eyes a little bit to make the lashes look a little better with the Serafine Botanicals Luna Liner. We got this in a boxy charm a while back as well. I used some mascara, which was the Marc Jacobs Velvet Nowhere Major Volume Mascara. For glue, I used Chisel Beauty Lash Glue, one of my favorite glues ever. And then I did also really quickly set my face with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Powder. Again, any other products that I haven't mentioned for this look will be down in the description box below. So if you're going to get a little close just to show you what I did. Again, I just wanted to play around with my liners. I really wasn't sure what to do. So this was the look we did. And honestly, I kind of like it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Final thoughts on the Glamour brushes and the Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. 
absolutely amazing i love them the brushes are really soft and guys they're just super cute like i can't get over this i'm gonna be playing with these so much i actually needed some more smaller brushes in my collection so i'm really excited that i got these these are amazing they work really well again really soft and they blend wonderfully the palette like i said swatching does not go for the same thing on the eye because this baby was fantastic the colors are absolutely gorgeous i think i created a stunning look and i love that i can use so many different colors for one look and all in one palette the color story is absolutely gorgeous just look at that guys i love the fun summer colors i love that you can create a lot of different looks with this palette I can go for glam, I can go for fun, colorful looks, I can even go for neutral looks with some of the shades, like this one right here called Flower, um, and this one called Heat. Very beautiful palette, absolutely am obsessed. I see, again, why this is a fan favorites box, because, wow, just wow. So now, let's get into the next few products. The last makeup product we're going to be getting into is this baby right here this is the wander beauty double date lip and cheek so i believe this is a balm and blush i did open it up before it's so cute i love the packaging and on the little pamphlet it says get ready to take your lips and cheeks on a double date this lightweight duo pairs a sheer tint with universal balm that can be used alone or layered on lips and cheeks the sheer tint blends effortlessly into the skin while the clear shimmer free balm provides comfortable hydration and glow this retails for $22. Now, I do actually have a Wander Beauty palette. The I believe it's the Wanderous Eyeshadow Palette, and it's freaking gorgeous. And absolutely love it. Another five-star palette. I got it in my BoxyCharm before. And I just feel like I'm not going to be disappointed because that palette was freaking amazing. It was a very neutrally kind of like beach vibe palette, but very cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. And again, it has two sides. So you have your balm. Oh, sorry, this is the blush. And then you have your balm. And it has a compact little mirror. This is the shade Sweet Talker and Swipe. So Sweet Talker is the blush. And Swipe, of course, is the balm. I absolutely love cream blushes. This is a cream blush. I normally like to use a brush when using a blush, a cream blush. So this isn't the typical brush that I use. This is a highlight brush. But... I don't mind it. This is very pigmented. I'm glad I didn't just like stick this in and then put it on my face because whoo, do you see all of that? And I'm still patting away. So let's go ahead and start putting this baby on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that since it's very pigmented. I like the shade too, especially for my skin tone. I would say I have like a light to medium skin tone. I'm more on the olive side. So if you guys notice, a lot of my foundations don't match me because it's very hard to find a olive foundation, at least in drugstore brands. It's blending very nicely, very evenly. It's giving a soft, subtle glow. Ooh, so cute. So cute. I love the color. I'm going to be using this more. I do have a few like kind of corally shades this one i feel like is kind of like a corally pink so sometimes i feel like coral can be a little harsh on my skin so i'm really liking this shade i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips off camera i'll come back and let you guys know what products i use so we're back and this is our lip moment we used the Italia deluxe makeup ultra fine lip liner in pink blossom and the revlon color stay satin ink in shade silky sienna absolutely love these they are amazing and super shiny i think this shade honestly went really perfect with this look too i was really surprised i was kind of scared it wasn't going to come out as i wanted it to and it did so i'm happy now on to our next product we have this baby right here and this is the tula skincare so poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub Got pores? Get this. Created with powerhouse ingredients like pink salt, volcanic sand, and witch hazel, this scrub helps target blackheads to deeply purify and minimize the look of pores. This is $32. I think that's really cool. I honestly can't wait to try it. I love scrubs. Like, I'm 
I'm exfoliator head. Of course, we can't exfoliate every day because we'll damage our skin, but I love some exfoliants. I have a bunch stocked up in my collection. This is what the baby looks like. Very pretty blue bottle. And of course, I'm not going to open it up right now because we aren't going to start that expiry time yet. I have so much skincare to use, but I always like to post my skincare on Instagram. I'll usually post updates here on YouTube, but that's usually like way later down the line after I get a product. So if you guys are interested, then make sure you follow me on Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. I'll be sharing all my skincare reels and reviews over there. And just to read a little bit more about the Tula skincare scrub, it says on the back, lactic acid and gentle hibiscus flower polish pores. Probiotics, raspberry leaf, and pomegranate reveal smoother and softer skin. I currently use probiotics in my skincare, so I'm excited. Again, I'm always excited about BoxyCharm and the products I get because if you guys don't know, BoxyCharm does curate the products to you. So I'm always, always, always excited to see what I get. So this is probiotics and superfood infused, and it's clean and effective. Formulated without parabens, sulfates, filiates, mineral oil, and petroleum formulaehydes form a little hide releasing preservatives try close in retinol gluten and synthetic fragrance and they are cruelty free now i personally like retinol so i really don't mind that in my skincare um but at least it does say that for those who are sensitive to retinol or don't like using retinol another product for skincare we have this is actually the free product that we got so this wasn't on the pamphlet i'll have all the info in the screen for you because it doesn't say how much it is or exactly what it does but I kind of know what it does. So this is the Murad Skincare Hydration AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So as it says, it's AHAs and BHAs, meaning this will exfoliate your skin while you're cleansing. Um, basically kind of like a two-in-one. It actually says use two to three times weekly. I notice a lot of products that I use, at least cleanser-wise, that have AHAs and BHAs, you usually can use them every day right now i actually use the exuviance pore clarifying cleanser which i believe contains aha bha and pha um but this one actually says you only use it two three times a week so i'm excited to see how this works i've been dying to try murad skincare so i'm really excited i got this in my box and again i'm a lover of exfoliants so exfoliants and scrubs baby let's get it on the back, it does say intensive triple action exfoliator with a proprietary blend of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids. Polishes away dull, dry skin without irritation. Reveals smoother texture and a brighter, younger looking complexion. Again, I'm not opening this up yet. So many cleansers in stock. I actually still have a cleanser from Kate Somerville. I got in my first ever BoxyCharm that I have not opened up yet. That's how much stuff I have, guys. All right, guys, so now we're on to our last product in the box, and this baby is the NCLA Los Angeles Treatments So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. And, guys, look at it. It's just like the brushes we just got. It has, like, really cute uh, pink little sparkles and hearts inside. Do you guys see that? That is so freaking adorable. So, again, this is the So Rich Love Potion. You'll heart this limited edition Valentine's Day cuticle oil. The cult favorite So Rich formula contains safflower seed oil and vitamin E to hydrate and nourish your cuticles. This is $18. I am actually going to go ahead and use some because my nails need it. Boy, my nails are dry. So let's go ahead. It smells really nice. It smells very plant-based. I have a skincare line from Well People. This feels like a really lightweight oil. That's something else I really like. All right, guys, so there you go. I don't know if you guys can see the difference on camera, but this is the side with the oil. Of course, it's more shinier. Um, it looks a lot more healthy. Again, very lightweight oil. I like how it smells. I like how it feels. And everything looks amazing, and I'm going to be using everything. Um, again, stay tuned on Instagram for the products that I'm not able to use right now, but we will be using in the future. So all together, this box without the Murad Skin Care Cleanser, this was the free gift. Just for the five products, it retailed out to be $140.94. Honestly, I feel like that's a little low compared to all the other boxes I've gotten. Honestly, I still don't think that's bad. Again, if you were to go to, into Sephora or Ulta, you'll probably be spending around $500 just for these products. Um, and probably not even all six of them. 
So again, you're definitely getting a crazy good value. You're getting amazing brands. That is pretty much it for our box. This is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed every single part of it. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this look. And again, let me know which products were your favorite. If you haven't yet, please subscribe down below and join my Big Beauty YouTube family. We post weekly videos on Thursdays. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when I post on Thursdays. Show your support. Give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends to enjoy. We'll see you back here next Thursday as always. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.